guys, and let me box back for another unboxing. Blah. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is Josh's Chariot Figma. You're really having brain fun. <laughs> Shut <aren't> up, Josh. <laughs> uh, so, this is a very, very cool Figma. As you can see, and she comes with an amazing piece that's freaking ginormous, her giant shield here. Can't wait to break that open, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm actually just so excited. excited. Holy shit, that looks beautiful. Figma number 234. You got this uh, straight from Goodsmile, actually. How much did you pay? Uh, it was a what was it, six thousand yen on the Goodsmile site. Let's get this party oh. started. One thing I hate about Figma is always wait, is there tape? Nope. To pop off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, one thing I'll say about BRS characters too, a lot of hands. Yeah, I mean, first of all, they're huge. Yeah, that is kind of a good thing, so can't really lose them. Oh, so much plastic, holy crap. There's so much plastic on this one. Uh, the one thing. There we go. Ooh. She's kind of small, actually. I mean, her wheels are huge on, on her feet, obviously, but I mean, Yeah, she is kind of small. don't consider her feet, she's actually a rather small character. Holy crap. Well, she is a little girl in this series. Yeah. Wheelchair. I don't know. I don't think know. of Chariot, though, as being small or short, really. Well, isn't that, like, what's represented with her character? Like, she's small, but her Chariot is, like, her guardian or something like that? I don't remember I the I don't BRS remember. Scene. It's been a very long time since I've seen it. Uh, if anyone's got reminders, be our guest. Ooh, look I at should... her. Yeah. I'm going to jump back in on that Black Rock Shooter anime sometime. Even if people say it's a bad anime. I don't know. I, don't, I, I remember liking it quite a bit. People, I think uh, people called it like one of the top five worst anime. I think it was on the anime show page. The also, top five worst. Josh. Oh, they wheelie. They they, they wheelie. They wheelie. <laughs> oh, that be. Oh, this one doesn't spin very well, but this one does. That's <laughs> that, that's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set. Panto. <laughs> Pure white pants. You like the <laughs> elegant. I love how we go straight up into that shot. Straight up into it. <laughs> All right, let's, we'll go into the articulation of it first before we go into pieces. Um, so I'm gonna leave her crown off for that. So head articulation, it with, goes all the way forward. With her hair too. Uh, it doesn't go very far up, but that is not surprising at all. As long as you get like the angles of her face, because I- Doesn't can... go side to side too much. What about if you like- A little bit that way though. Like made her look down on her left or right side. Her head can spin, and then her arm goes quite far up, and then it has, I believe, full rotation. Yeah, it has full rotation. The elbow bend is more than 90 degrees. It looks like I'm looking at some Freddy Krueger shit right now. <laughs> her hands are a little crazy. So standard, uh, standard hand joints, I believe. So here is oh, the she's... ab crunch. She's very flexible. Um, and then the sk the skirts the hips boots. have plenty of movement. As for the legs, all right, there uh, the, the thigh can spin over here as well as here. Uh, wow, her knees are kind of crazy. Uh, they move. Oh, hmm. Oh yeah, you got to remember we're dealing with now the mechanical parts of yeah, the character. Yeah, it's very, it's weird. So her knees move. Her knees move a little bit, but really there's hardly any movement. Well, because I don't It's more so in these, well, I guess you could call them ankles. Uh, and these have quite a lot of movement. They rotate all the way around. Um, They've got the most... There's a little swivel. swivel. Yeah. yeah. There's a very intricate design. That's the only thing I like about the figmas of BRS, that they get very intricate with their details. Oh, if you wanted to see the sculpt, like, on their midsection and their pants. Very pants freaking too. thin. Well, I imagine they'd have to make it that way so that they could properly sculpt the outside of the dress. Yeah. I'll set her aside for Could you stand on her own is a question, I just realized. No. It's, it's like watching someone fumble on skates right now doing this. <gasps> I can! Oh, wow. You can, totally. Yeah, you probably just gotta angle them, like, you know, diagonally and make yeah. sure she don't topple. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I mean, you can if you're careful and you, it's not on the wheel part and it's on the sort of the so, stopper part. Now we can go into oh. the pieces. So this is her crown. It's really sharp. The most dangerous item in the freaking... Yeah, it is really sharp and it's completely rigid. Yeah. And it has a peg. Hurt myself. Grab it. has a peg here to go on her head. Honestly, I think you could have been able to get it on her head just fine without the peg, so I wish that they hadn't done that. And we have two faces. Not only do we have tons of parts, 
we have two face plates. All right, so there is her her macaron. Um, I think that's the face of looking down at peasants. Yeah, that's her mocking sort of face. Yeah. Let's get it a little that, closer. Yeah, that. I mean, I think her character was like a rich girl if I was correct in the series. I don't know. She was just kind of a bitch, is what I remember. Well, this one is really cool. I like this one. Oops. That like that. I, it looks like a normal smile. I mean, the eyes don't really kind of give off a psycho when I look at it, because that's mm -hmm. what I was thinking at first. Yeah, she is, is a psycho Check. bitch. Check this out. I don't remember this piece. I don't remember her I'm using sorry. this in the series. So, really awesome. I love the gold details. They look really awesome. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, my damn. What? Is there... Two stands. I One's can... probably for the shield. Yeah, because I remember they had it. I think they did that for strength also, because mm -hmm. of freaking gorilla arms. So here is the stand and arc. One three towards the body. And another stand and arc. One towards the shield. That's pretty interesting. And if you would like to see these instructions, you probably should have shown them earlier. They're all bent. Is there English and Japanese, or is it just all Japanese? There is English. Oh, sweet. So it'll probably tell us how to work this thing in the back, because I can't read this part. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's the Japanese sign. It's in English. Yeah, Exercise yeah, caution near yeah. feet. Exercise English. caution? English. Why exercise caution? Here's because she's ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you all these hands that aren't on a hand rack. Yeah. I wish they had a hand rack. That is weird. Why isn't it? Because they're giant. All right. So here are her fists. They're both the same. Here are her open hands. Oh, her hands look freaking awesome. They're all skeletal and completely black. Here are her gripping hands. There's two of these. And we also have this gripping hand and we have the little dainty that, macaron holding yeah, hand. That's the macaron hand. I want macarons now. <laughs> I need them. And let's check out the the macarons in here. Oh my god, they're so small! Josh, look how small they are! Look how oh my god. Holy shit. So yeah, make sure to keep an eye on your macarons people. Let me get the other two. Ooh. That is insane. So I'm sorry if I'm getting in the light, but uh, yeah, that's 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 how small they are. And now is the super cool giant sh shield thing. <laughs> Whoa, it's heavy. Is it really? Yeah. Let me see. Oh wow, that's actually got a very nice weight on it. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Holy so crap. thick. Yeah. Does it does it rotate from the Oscar? What do you mean? Like like it looks like something that would rotate actually. There are no moving parts on this, as far as I can tell. Just dangerous parts. Yeah, so here's the edges. They're all beautiful and metallic gold. I love it. And then all of the ex or all of the uh, details on here are exquisioso. And then here on the back I don't think these come off. But that's what the gripping side looks like. I really can't wait to get this <sighs> this figure like posed right now. So I'll... where to begin? All right, so we're gonna start off with bitch pose. <laughs> so her eating her macarons and like a bitch, bitch. Like, like a bitch, <laughs> like the bitch she is. <laughs> so here. I think I can do this. Yeah, actually, I can do that. Yeah, and I like and this. And do we need to use the extender piece? Um, extender? Not yet. For under her hair? Uh no. This one? This one? This one? I would say maybe save that for the shield. I don't we'll think we'll we see that for the shield, but we shall see. Okay. What do we need to do? Hey, 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 what do we need to do? So let's see. Wait, oh my hands in the way you can't see a thing. Haha, -ha, we're taking off her hair and her fess. And it's fesh. Her fast. God, it looks creepy. <laughs> oh, it does look creepy. Get in there. And now her hair. And there we go. I'm also gonna take out this hand. Oh, they all have pegs. Mm -hmm. I think. Her hands all have pegs. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have pegs. Oh, okay. That's cool. And they are articulated. I think that's her right. That hand. is. That's her right hand. You look at it. That's her right hand. Yep. <laughs> I gotcha. My bad. My bad. So yeah, it is her right hand. Put that one on there. I'm gonna leave the leave the macarons to you. Do all these I'm using 
You're using what? I'm using the extender piece. Using You'd be surprised how how much easier these extender pieces make uh, posing with the long-haired characters because it gets closer to the back, so you can kind of work around it more. And that makes sense. Oh, I should know. I don't know if I've pointed this out yet, but she has her articulated hair, which I don't care for much because it has such a big kind of ugly thing here. All right, Josh. Oh, that's so fun looking. Give this bitch some macarons. Get this bitch some macarons. <laughs> Get this bitch some macarons. I want to pick a macaron now myself. I would not say no to some macarons. Sucks <laughs> like there's no macaron shop around here or anything. One of these days we need to make some. Like that time we made really bad melon pond. <laughs> we let the weeb get to us. No, no, no. It's not weeb to make melon pond. It's weeb to go buy melon pond. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, how would you call that weeb? At least we're not fucking nothing but... Oh, we're getting some... That way to go, <laughs> Melon pond and make some sushi and some macarons. We des, should des. also have some sushi. All right, des. give this bitch some goddamn macarons. Yes, yes. Give it. Yes. Uh, where the hell are my mac? Where are my macarons? Where the fuck do you think they're in your fucking bin? Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, God. oh God. All right, give her some macarons. Hurry, hurry! It's still recording. Hurry, hurry! I'm trying to make sure. Style at Express. Style, Style at Express. Starlight Express. Starlight Express. Let's go there. Okay, so I guess I noticed that only one of them has the peg hole, and I guess I kind of the other two she can hold. Yeah, that makes sense. But now I I gotta be very, you know, this is gonna be kind of a little fickle. I can put the other you can put the other macarons in her hand. Let me. Oh no, my phone. I mean my uh, camera is dying. It's dying. Oh Christ, and all my. While this goes on, I'm gonna try and get the macarons. Hurry. In. Oh. All you have to do. To make her hold that macaron is there's a hole in that. Yes, there's a hole in that. I know. It's just all about getting it in the hole. Yes. Because it's got to slide in there. Josh, over here. <laughs> Trying to is it really that hard? It it quite is because you got to balance it. Actually, you're supposed to slide in. It's, well, it's on there now. Right. There it is. Got it. Yeah. Oh. God, good smell. I here, love you guys. Go. Alright, so you wanna attach this onto her? Yeah, stick it on. Give this bitch her bitch hand. Her macaron. Her bitch hand? Her bitch hand. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. So here we have her with her taunting macarons. It was such a pain in the ass to work with this. It, did, it didn't take that long, it was just like, there's macarons flying everywhere. It's very tedious. Now it's time to do something a little more super serial. Alright, so it took us some time to uh, to do this pose. Well, Josh kind of took over for so, for this pose. I had to take the particular. damn rings, for God's sakes. And I, I went, and I went to go be retarded somewhere else. <laughs> This figure itself, it's obviously really nice, the articulation is great. The one big pain in the ass, though, I will definitely say was getting that shield on. All right. How did you get it on while I wasn't paying attention to So, you? one thing you have to make sure is there's two kinds of fist uh, hand joints, or two, two kinds of fists. One fist, as you can see here, has a hole in it. You know, has a hole in it. Whoa. That, that holy hand has the hand that actually holds the sword straight up, but then, the other fist hand is plano fist, but no hole. So you can give either arm the shield, and you gotta make sure, like, or I'm not gonna, I don't wanna know if we can show the angle or not, but actually, on the fist itself, there's these kind of grooves actually. And there's a whole freaking turn based order on getting the arm in there. Unless someone thought, excuse me, a faster way of doing it. And the way I did it was separating the, the second arm joint, getting the fist hand, and connecting them through the shield holes, or the handles actually, because there's a round, a round handle and then kind of a, a trapezoid looking shape I believe? You gotta make sure that they actually connect and you have to angle the actual joint in the right spot, because once you start pushing the hands in, like they kind of don't connect, so you literally gotta get the actual joint in the actual hole to make sure that she has the shield. Once you get that part down, you, I just connected the arm back into her shoulder piece, and then went on from there to get the actual joint, which you, I don't know if you can barely see right over here, 
for this kind of pose and for this badass action that we got going over here, um, I stuck the actual Figma rod in one of two holes, which I'm going to try at least. Yeah, the cool thing about the shield is that it has two holes on each side. So one over here, one over here, and on the opposite side, one over here, one over here. So you can kind of get around uh, to do whichever pose you need to with the uh, extra stand to hold it up. So that, we brought that. Deadmaster! God! <laughs> what was oh, that? I, I tipped it. Deadmaster! I, I tipped it. I tipped it. I'm so afraid. And this is the one thing that drove me nuts too. Is it's pretty could... hard getting the shield to match up with the extra stand. Good like fucking god, man! The shield is so heavy. If you don't have the actual stand, you can do the pose where you know she has the shield on the ground and make it like you know full body kind of shield, which is not a bad thing. But if you want to get like those pose and action shots where you know, she's like lifting it or holding it while she's got the sword at the at the ready, then yeah, you know, you're gonna need that rod and I think we're gonna get that. Yeah. There's there we go. This is what we got going down over here and the sword with her battle ready face. Yeah, this this shield is so huge, but it's such a It really is massive. It, but it, I mean, that's the thing with all Black Rock shooter figure characters. They all have like that one Ridiculously yeah, that one drop that, that is one. Just ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, all in all, this Figma is just fucking awesome. Like, yeah, it is. It's, it's really awesome. It has some beautiful paint schemes, especially with the metallic gold. And I didn't find anything really off of it with my analness or anything like yeah. that. Do be mindful, though, with the crown, I've heard of problems with paint transfer uh, between the black of the crown getting on the, uh, the blonde of her hair. Uh, so do be, do be mindful of that. Try not to have it scrape up against the scalp too much. And don't scrape the crown across your skin because it hurts like a bitch. In the instructions that we It even given, says in the instructions, like, yeah, to be careful because the, it's sharp. The crown, the shield has some spikes on it, and even her, uh, her freaking, um, spokes. The yeah, spokes yeah. on her wheels, I mean, they're not truly sharp, but you could take an eye out with it. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Actually, yeah, be careful. That's actually quite sharp. Hey, uh... For those of you out there getting this Figma, be sure to not stab yourself in the eyeballs. Yeah. And don't smack a four-year-old with it either. Unless they piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, this Figma, I mean... I like it. It's... it's, it's, it's <laughs> I quite, like it. I like it. I, I, I think it's awesome. They did a great job. Yeah. And it sucks that we don't have the Nendroid, but I was actually way more excited for the Figma because of... All the details. I wish that I had money to get all of the BRS Figma because they're so cool. And I only need especially these two, Chariot and Deadmaster, look beautiful. I only need two more of the TV versions, actually. What? Uh, uh, that? Well, that and then strength like... and Black Rock Shooter. What about White Rock Shooter and Insane Black Rock Shooter? <laughs> um, yeah. So this figure, all in all, just be very mindful, be very patient like most Figma posing and such and you're gonna have a really fun time with this and make an awesome, you know, I, I don't know if, I want, if you want to move the camera but, you know, make an awesome battle poses like this and everything. Choo -ba -choo. I mean, that's the one thing I could definitely say I love about this, these freaking characters in the series and it just looks so freaking badass. Yeah, like <laughs> you, when you finally actually display this stuff, you should display these two like that. Because you know, that looks really cool. You know, weird thing, when you look at the lighting over here, it looks like a mountain, like they're fighting. Oh, there. yeah, it does! Oh my god! <laughs> you, you'll, you'll see what we're talking about if you look in the background, but. Uh, anyways, um. Yeah, so, honestly, worth the money. It was like, what, 6,200 yen? 62 bucks? And, and plus 2,000 for shipping? Yeah, I, I did bundle it, so unless I had another Figma, then she would have been like. $82, but which honestly with all the pieces that it comes with, the macaroons, the hands, the faces, and this ridiculous ass shield, it's, it's worth the drop. I think it's really worth the drop if you really want to get your BRS collection in line. But, uh, common question? Common question of the day! What is your favorite color? Keep it simple. No really, what is it? Because obviously Black Rock Shooter characters are very color themed, so. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned my favorite color on, on a couple of videos, so, uh, see if you guys can guess my favorite color. What's your favorite color, Josh? Is it blue? I bet it's blue. I was gonna say, yeah, because, well, what a freaking black rock shooter, but blue, plus, yeah, blue's nice. Blue's very nice. Is that, so that's your favorite color? Yes, yes it is. Yeah, I'll make that simple and clean. <laughs> yeah, don't even quote. <laughs> <It's> kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. 
As always, if you want to see more unboxings and other such coolness, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified of any videos in the future. Until next time, guys, see you in box out. Give this bitch some macarons. Give it. Duh. Where the hell are my mac? Where are my macarons? Where the fuck do you think they're in your fucking bin? Oh yeah, you're right. Duh. Uh,